Section sixty three The Martyr by Victor J. Daly. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Not only on cross and gibbet, by sword and fire and flood, have perished the world's sad martyrs whose names are writ in blood. A woman lay in a hovel, mean, dismal, gasping for breath. One friend alone was beside her. The name of him was Death for the sake of her orphan children for money to buy them food she had slaved in the dismal hovel and wasted her womanhood winter and spring and summer came each with a load of cares and autumn to her brought only a harvest of gray hairs far out in the blessed country beyond the smoky town the winds of god were blowing evermore up and down the trees were waving signals of joy from the bush beyond the gum its blue-green banner the fern its dark green frond flower called the flower in whispers by sweet caressing names and young gum shoots sprang upward like woodland altar flames and deep in the distant ranges the magpie's fluting song roused musical mocking echoes in the woods of dandenong and riders were galloping gaily with loose-held flowing reins through dim and shadowy gullies across broad treeless plains and winds through the heads came wafting a breath of life from the sea and over the blue horizon the ships sailed silently and out of the sea at morning the sun rose golden bright and in crimson and gold and purple sank the sea at night but in dreams alone she saw them her hours of toil between for life to her was only a heartless dead machine her heart was in the graveyard where lay her children three nor work nor prayer could save them nor tears of agony on the lips of her last and dearest pressing a farewell kiss she cried aloud in her anguish can god make amends for this dull desperate ceaseless slaving bereft of her power to pray and man was careless and cruel and god was far away but who shall measure his mercies his ways are in the deep and after a life of sorrow he gave her his gift of sleep rest comes at last to the weary and freedom to the slave her tired and worn-out body sleeps well in its pauper grave but his angel bore her soul up to that bright land and fair where sorrow enters never nor any cloud of care they came to a lovely valley agleam with asphodel and the soul of the woman speaking said here i fain would dwell the angel answered gently o soul most pure and dear o soul most tried and truest thy dwelling is not here behold thy place appointed long kept long waiting come where bloom on the hills of heaven the roses of martyrdom End of section 63. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain.